Ride right, to rock. Sign man, baby. Player, we got Mary's in the building. <laughs> Mary, Mary, in the house. Ladies, how you doing? Doing we're well. Good. How are you? Oh, we're awesome. We're awesome. We are truly, truly awesome. Good, good. Uh, I hope, I hope, sorry, let me cut you off. We've seen solo records, we've seen reality shows, and all of that stuff is great. Right. <laughs> but, I know we are we talking Mary, Mary album? <laughs> well, the, the thing is this. I just released a solo, this is Tina, I just released a solo album, um, you know, not even a year ago, and I wanted time to be able to explore the passion behind that project, but the truth is, before I ever wrote a song, it was the Mary Mary music that has not been released yet, that literally carried me through a very rough time in my life. So I'm so looking forward to, you know, uh, to putting that music out Absolutely. and doing it, I, I, you know, probably by the end of this year, if we don't have something out, we'll at least be together, you know, in Recording. the studio recording so a, a Mary Mary music is to come we just we can't give you no exact timeline you understand what I'm saying okay what about the next season of Mary Mary the TV reality show the next season starts March 3rd uh, we literally were, were filming before we left out of town and going LA. right back home to film yeah going right back home to finish um, you know because life just got really busy and complicated so you know we thought we would be finished before now but you know our our show is our real our real lives. Mm -hmm. So when we're touring and being moms and dealing with different things, we you know we require that they maintain the integrity of it being our truth. Yeah. So. No, without question. Yeah. Without question, especially last season. Yeah. Yeah. So it's so funny. They come in and they they're like, we're gonna get this show done in two and a half months. I'm like, well, me and Erica will only be together one and a half week in that time because we've got things going on. So they've been forced to kind of hold and chop things up, which is it can be complicated for a production company and, and a network and expensive. <laughs> but we were like, if you guys chose to do it during this time, this is what's happening in our real life. Um, but fortunately, it comes together. We do find time to do things together, but we spend a lot of times doing things separately. So it's wonderful to be here this weekend. You know what yeah. I mean? We're being honored together. The BMI. That was what I wanted to talk about. Yeah. yeah. You're being honored tomorrow. Yeah, we're being my trailblazers. So as far as songwriting, and I think a lot of people don't know that you know we were songwriters first, and um, it's what has allowed us to stay true to who we are. Yeah. Because we write the lyrics, and it, it's what allows us to sing with passion because it's stuff that we've been through. We write from a real place. Yeah. Like when I when we write a song like Shackles or you know Trouble Ain't Gonna Be Here or In the Morning or even God and Me, it's that's real for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nobody wrote that for me. Those are my words. I right. feel like that. Yeah. They got lyrics, show. <laughs> All the time, man. You know, you know, you know. What I always wanted to ask. There are so so many circular artists that, that want to try their hands at gospel. Have you ladies ever thought about just doing? I don't. I don't want to use the word regular song, but a circular song. Like if you just wanted to do a song with Patti Labelle, and it was. Well, you know, how, I, I think do a song about. This you know, is the thing. Well, we've actually done songs with many people. Yeah. With with LL with. With Patti LaBelle, with, with Ruben Studdard, with I don't I can't remember all the people we done done stuff with, but and, and all those songs get mainstream airplay. So I, we've been able to get that while still being 100% true to who we are. And this is the thing: we will never sing any song or any lyric or anything that is contrary to what we believe in. Right. And there's countless songs that may apply to us that we may like that we may enjoy that are not gospel songs. We listen to all music that's not gospel music, but anything that is contrary to what I stand for and what I believe in. I ain't listening to that. So I wouldn't mind singing that probably as a feature on someone else's record, but on my music, I prefer to promote the good news of Jesus. That's where my heart is, you know what I mean? I ain't, you ain't finna hear me on no record talking about, you know, well, I ain't gonna Drop say that. You, you, well, did, that that, that ain't that. who we are, you know what I mean? We ain't, no, but, you, but you know, it's funny, you talked about the two the two sides of it, but there are other there are other topics Absolutely. that, that are not um, you know, nothing degrading. Anything. Exactly. I mean, we can songs. life, love. We can relate to that, and there's Absolutely. no prop. There's no fault in that. It's funny when we first started. You know, you're young, you're you're, you're immature. You want to kind of a little bit please everybody, even if you don't know that that's what you're about. Just being young, underexperienced, you know, lacking wisdom. You just you want to be accepted and all that. So there were certain things that we say to make sure our Christian community knows that we're aligned we're with loyal. you. Our our loyalty is to you. And then there's things that you're saying because you're trying to make sure you're relatable on the other side well at this point in time we are women we know who we are we know what we're about i don't have a problem with singing something that applies to some element of my life but again anything that is contrary to what i stand for and what i believe in i ain't never singing it 
and there's a lot of people that we can that leaves a lot of space for a lot of collaborations yeah. and all genres of music you know